Hey guys, welcome to PCF. Okay, so in our last class, we discussed about the bulk insert of the basics. So in this, uh, we are going to you know discuss about the bulk insert task with the input parameters, how to insert a record into a table with the parameter value, how to update a record with the parameter value, and how to delete a record with the parameter value we are going to see now. Okay, let's uh, open uh, Visual Studio 2019 and uh, uh, go with the you know so existing uh, package so whatever the package so i have created so project so i open the same project there will again go with the execute sql task with the parameters okay so let me go here and then uh, go with the package right click on that new package so here and then rename this one um, execute sql task with the parameters so it's good Exit SQL task with the parameters. Okay, parameters. Okay, pam, pam, param. Okay, you can go with that. You can say that. Okay, so yeah, yes to all. Mm. Okay, now this time we can go with the execute SQL task with the parameters, right? So what I am going to do here? So I have a, a table here. So that table name is okay. I have a table. The table name is select. Uh, so this. TBL employee pipe I have, okay. So how many records I have? Three records I have, okay, three records I have. So now by using, okay, so I'm going to insert, I'm going to insert the uh, data by using execute SQL task. I'm going to insert a data by using execute SQL task. So I'm going to, so for, for insertion, okay. So guys, okay, if you want to work with the uh, SSIS, you should know the SQL case. Okay, first of all, you need to understand about insert, update, delete, and all these commands, even stored procedures, functions, and all. So, before you are entering into the SSIS, you should learn about the SQL basics. Okay, so uh, try to okay, not only basics. Right? Okay, so you should have a good knowledge in SQL. Okay, so I have created the playlist for that. So, if you, you know uh, new to this uh, SQL and SSIS, just please go and watch my. A playlist of okay. Srinivas Pujari SQL uh, classes. If you uh, try that in uh, YouTube, so you will find the playlist. Okay, so this is the insert command. Okay, so uh, I'm going to take that insert command now. So let's go here. So then it's not configured, right? So okay. red means it's not configured properly. So let's click on this execute SQL task. And so so LDB connection. So I'm going to use the new connection. So that is so. Anyhow, so local host and SSIS DB only. Okay, I'm connect, I'm going to connect with the SSIS DB. So this is the uh, our SSIS DB. So there I'm going to connect. So it's already existed. I'm going to use that connection. So if you are new to so how to connect the connection and please watch my previous videos. There I have explained how to take the new connection and all. And then uh, so SQL statement. Okay, there is a three dots, right? So you can click on these three dots. It will open a query window. So just to uh, click here. Uh, these three dots and uh, so whatever the query insert query is there just take that insert query so this question mark means parameter values okay so id is one question mark and the name is one question mark so the question mark means the values okay like id value and then name values and then salary value okay through parameter values we will pass the data so here paste it okay and then click okay and then create parameters Okay, create parameters. So how many parameters we need to create? So before that, okay. So to pass the parameters, we have to create a variables. Okay, variables will discuss separate section, but for now we have to create. So to pass the parameters, we have to create a variables. Okay, so right click on the uh, control panel, right click on the control panel. There is a variable, uh, you can find the variables. So you can go and then create three variables. Okay, just, to, just a minute. So let me increase this. Okay, so let's go with the three parameters one two three so the first one so what are the values okay you are passing means so whatever the so id name and salary so whatever the table columns are there the same parameter values we are going to pass okay so first one is id and uh, so package scope okay package two so that's fine and uh, what is this uh, so scope if you want to change the scope okay enter uh, you know so this one, okay, package scope, if you want change, you can change that. So 
later but so this is integer value only so here i'm going to change with the four value four and then next i'm going with the variable two that is name okay name and if you want to change this okay so what is this um, name is a string value right okay go with the string and then so i'm just inserting with my name okay with the double quotes i'm just keeping okay just double quotes right okay so just uh, i will explain you why i'm going with the double quotes and all i will explain okay so and then uh salary okay salary okay so let's go here and then go with the string and then salary some seventy thousand okay seventy thousand okay so now uh variables are ready okay variables are ready then let's save this and then close this variable window okay now you can go here and then the configure is gone now so again uh, go and then select that uh, local host and uh, so sql statement so we can go with that so here is the direct connection mode only so here we have three options right one is uh, a file connection and variable direct means you are writing direct sql query file connection means so you are writing uh, uh, some scripts in the file and you are using that file okay so for that purpose we will go with the file connection and then variable means you can go with the uh, so where whenever you have a variable so you will go with the variable through variables if you want to execute you can go with that okay so again three parameters okay we have created three variables right so the c three variables we are uh, passing here actually so uh, not system defined so there is a user defined we have user id and then uh, again you have a user name so you can go and then select that and then user salary okay select that and then so all are input only and then here you need to select the data type okay if you want to see you can see okay this is the data type this is the number and this is the string actually okay this is the where care okay where care and again the salary is a number again so you can go and then select and parameter name and then this is the parameter size so parameter size minus one means max okay so parameter name so it will start with zero so zero and then one and then two okay so the order how you will pass okay so that's it okay so now so whatever the values we passed okay so like variables we have passed the four screen was with the double quotes and then uh, seven thousand salary so for now we have only three records okay so here so once we execute this task so here we will get so that records okay just let me uh, save that and then execute okay right click here and execute the task so whether it's going to be executed or not we'll see yeah it's executing okay so yeah execution uh, successfully executed so green mark means it's executed successfully and stop debugging so let's go here and then uh, see in the sql server try to execute the uh, uh, this table and then select the this one see the four fourth record is okay okay so earlier there is no fourth record now we've inserted okay so that we have inserted wrongly like so the double quotes is there so i need to update this record i need to update this record for that purpose intentionally i keep this double quotes actually seeing was i do, i don't want the double quotes actually i want to you know update so so update command everyone knows right update set where okay so up, then this time this is the zero in parameter mapping this will be the zero and this will be the one okay this is the first one and then this is the second one so now let me go here and then we'll update that so we'll go there here and then okay click here and then take uh, so go with the statement okay change the sql statement and then click okay and then change the parameter mapping this time we don't have salary right so select the salary and then remove that okay so and then id is the one and the second it's coming second right so that is the reason id is one and then uh, username is zero okay and then click OK. So this time I'm going to change the value, variable value, double quotes. Okay, I'm going to change the variable value, double quotes. Okay, so same ID only. I'm passing ID four only. But the thing is, this time I'm going to update the name as okay this one. Okay, so save and then close the variable window and then execute. Okay, this time 
So what I'm expecting here is, so these double quotes will be removed. This double quote will be updated, okay? Instead of double quotes, we are updating with the, where ID is equal to four, then the screen was name, okay, double quotes name, with the without double quotes, okay? That's what we are explaining. So, so after execution, so it will be, no, there will there will be no double quotes. Okay, just and um, execute this. Yeah, executed successfully. Let's see. Okay, whether it is executed or not. Okay, so whether it is removed the double quotes or not. Okay, yes, it's updated. Okay, so that way we can update also and then delete. Okay, if you want to delete the records, same same way you can go and then so where ID so. Whenever you have how many question marks, that many parameters you should have. Okay. So now this time I'm going with the delete. Okay. I want to delete this screen was record again. Okay. So let me go here and then double click and go with the three dots here and uh, paste it here. So click OK. And this time, how many parameters we have? Question marks. How many question marks? Only one question mark that is ID is equal to question mark. So we have to pass only ID. So that let's remove the name. And then this time this parameter name is only one, right? So you can go with the zero. Okay. And then click okay. So now execute. So it should delete the what? It should delete the screen was record. Only three records should, should have in the final. Okay. This way we can go and insert update delete records. So we'll see tomorrow output parameters case. Okay. We'll so we'll see. So today we discussed about the input parameters, right? Tomorrow we'll see about the output parameters. Okay. Let's execute. Uh, let's see that. Okay, whether the scene was record is ex uh, deleted or not. Okay, then execute only. We should have a sorry. What is it's executed? Sorry. See, scene was recorded deleted. Hope you understand how to add a parameters and uh, map the parameters. Okay, so when you use the in um, uh, SSIS, you have to go with the uh, parameters values okay you can have to go with the question marks okay so this is the syntax way okay hope you like the video uh, please subscribe and uh, for more videos guys okay thank you um, have a great day bye